Over your evaporator coil section, I do notice something that looks a little oily right here. And it is definitely oily to the touch, as you can see. All of that oiliness travels up this pipe to the aluminum to copper. Let's go ahead and confirm if there's a leak or not. Using my, my electronic leak detector, I am confirming that this joint is leaking at this time. You can see there's a nice significant leak. Let's go ahead and give it some fresh air. Doo -doo -doo -doo, fresh air. And right back to the aluminum to copper. Yeah, so at this time, it is definitely confirmed that your copper to aluminum has a leak in it, and it is leaking the refrigerant, and that's where all this oil is coming from. So we do need to address this leak, so that way when summer hits and you go to turn on your AC, it has enough refrigerant to run and cool the house as it should. Now let's go ahead and inspect the sensor. I want to go ahead and look at the mega ohms, especially since I am finding a leak up in the attic. So this right here is my mega ohms reader. Let's go ahead and give it a push and see where you're at. Alrighty, so right now it is holding in the caution zone. It should have been already to the thousand and better by now. So at this time, your mega ohms are suffering due to the leak in the attic. Your compressor is heating up too much because of the lacter of refrigerant and oil inside. So I just want to point that out. And there's just one last thing I would like to point out.